So, the other day I wrote a post that began with, um, I'm an entitled, arrogant freeloader. And, um, I shared in another video about this already, but a new insight came today that some of the comments that have been a little hard to receive from that post, because I really just w kind of went for it. I went for that arrogant character and I just like sort of allowed it to embody me and it felt super playful and fun and I just let it express. And in some way it felt like a big joke to me. <laughs> Um, and it seemed to be received that way by some people and not others. Uh, because it, it was a joke with an edge to it, because there was a truth to that character within me. Um, feeling some of that and, and having some of that perspective. That that's, that's a truth within my experience. Um, but it does feel like a character. It does feel like just an aspect of my multidimensionality, which I don't even know if, if mine is feels accurate. Um, it's just what is. It's just an energy that uh, sort of knocked on my door and said, hey, you want to play with me? And I was like, yeah, you're fucking fun. Let's do it. And it was super fun to write that piece. It wasn't as fun <laughs> to receive some of, some of the harder comments. Um, but the insight I had this morning was, they're responding to a character. The, the harsh um, interpretation is, is people... It's this sense that they're not, they're not responding to me. They're responding to this, this aspect of consciousness or expression of divinity that showed up on that post and that shows up when I show up in people's homes sometimes. Um, so, so I guess for in some way it was feeling like a separation between me and this version of me, this character me. And something in me, it felt like it let go. I suddenly felt all this relaxation. This happened during meditation. The thoughts were coming in about um, one of the comments I received and just like feeling some pain around it, I guess. Um, and then and then suddenly that, that thought of like, wait, if they were... If they were seeing me like who I truly am, um, it would only be love. It would only be beauty and innocence. So I don't need to take that personally because it's not a reflection of who I am at the core of my, my being. <laughs> I notice this is the part where I start like bringing contradictions into what I'm saying to, to make sure I'm including all sides and all parts. That's something that I, that I often do. And I notice lately there's something in me that's like, you don't necessarily need to speak all of that. So something in me wanted to start like going on some, some different, speaking to some different pieces of that. But I'm like, because it feels like this energy of needing to explain myself or make sure everyone understands me. Um, make sure I'm bringing in all perspectives so that no one's left out and then can therefore judge me or that I will judge myself as not being, you know, all inclusive or, or considerate of everyone. I don't know if these are quite the right words, but there's, there's something in there. It's interesting to notice. So the other piece I felt like I might want to speak about on this video is I do this, I let these characters express because it feels like it feels like self-love to give to allow them space to be. And it also feels like through exposure, something begins to unravel, something is revealed. I see things in a deeper way and I start these patterns lose their hold on me. Um, these characters lose their power over being able to sort of take me over and blind me to 
the most heart-centered way of being that I want to embody in this world. So I notice the more that I just kind of let these sometimes darker, shadowy aspects um, be expressed publicly, it's like space gets created inside. It's not living inside me as much anymore. It's it's out there. And then there's this spaciousness within me to to breathe and to know myself as not that thing. That I'm so much more expansive than that. And I think part of that has to do with that that's that's part of my my purpose here. Um, it's this sense that <laughs> like I'm an alchemist in some way that that and probably we all are my sense of it for myself is I have these experiences <sighs> there's all this ah, stuff churning around in my body <sighs> I have these expressions I let it out and then And it's a sense of it's not just providing that experience for me, but for everyone that comes across it. Different experiences for different people, but I imagine for some that relate to these energies within me because they sense them within themselves, which may ultimately just be a collective energy that that different that we're different people are tapping into. That allows that energy to move for others as well. And for some, it may be that the, you know, medicine is the trigger in that I'm offering something that triggers them. And that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity for something to be revealed within them as well. And when they respond with the trigger, it's another opportunity for me to see what's going on with my reaction to their response. So it's this beautiful self-awareness game that, that, that everyone co-creates. And the more I allow myself to be public with these things, the more that game can unfold and maybe the more rapidly um, some of this sort of evolution can, can take place. So to some degree it, it requires a willingness to take the hit and um, have some judgments fly my way. And rejection, you know, being unfriended, being blocked, um, people that their response to their own reaction is to um, have a boundary, create space, which that could be totally perfect and beautiful for their process. So there's a way that I don't, I don't even ultimately take it personally if someone has that reaction because I trust that they're on their journey and um yeah and whatever's coming up for them is is part of a process of what's being revealed to them but it still hurts it's still it's still hard to receive sometimes and that's that's an opportunity to nurture myself and be with my my little boy inside that's like oh they're being so mean to me they don't understand they don't they don't know that I'm just trying to share my my truth and be honest and and that ultimately it's like I'm just doing what wants to be done through me is the sense of it like it's bigger than than me this this character It feels, what what I imagine to be more arrogant is to not share these things. Because then I'm, I'm in this insecure place of like, oh, but I'm going to have all these consequences if I do this. And that makes it about me. That's That feels more self-absorbed. What feels like a greater act of humility um, is to allow it to be seen even if that's creates consequences for me 
because ultimately that me is going to unravel in that process of of criticism whatever it is coming my way it's it's an opportunity to disidentify from that being me and that that feels like kind of what what's ultimately happening here is that moment in meditation i had today was that disidentification from that me that i have known myself to be in some ways So that's what I wanted to share. <laughs> Thank you for listening, receiving. And yeah, just for considering what I have to say. All right. Love and light. <laughs>